Hey everyone, and welcome back to this uh, short feature. Today we're focusing on the ability to add chapters to your YouTube videos. So adding chapters is actually a great and welcome feature that YouTube rolled out here in uh, the spring to summer of uh, 2020. So these are actually available in the past. And in the past, what you would do is you would go into your video and either in the comment section under your video or in the description, you would put an index with a title and after that title, you would have a time mark. So for example, one colon 31 would mean that that section of the title would happen at the 131 minute of the video. So it was actually available in the past, but what is new about this is it applies it to the actual video itself in a scrubbing style as we'll take a look at here. So what I'll do is I'll just go to one of my videos to show you what this looks like. And this particular video is my 1500th video, so thanks for watching all of you. And ironically enough, it's on YouTube. So I'll show you this in a second, how you do it. But if we look at the video, this will give you a sense of what that scrolling looks like. I'll just pause the video and you can see that this one has quite a few chapter indices. And in the old days, this was all we had. So viewers would have to go through this list and click on, if I wanted YouTube algorithms, I would click on 530 and then YouTube automatically goes to that section of the video. From what I can tell, it's using the same detection engine in terms of looking at metadata. So in the past, it would go into your description or comments, and anytime it saw the time delineated, it knew to add that, to populate that for your video with that link uh, given. So it's actually been a part of YouTube for some time, but what makes it nicer now is that you can scrub through the video. And as you're watching it, what you'll notice here is that as you're moving along, you can see that the length of that particular index is indicated in the video. Some are shorter, some are longer, and you can tell that by how long each of the bars is. And then as I'm scrubbing across here, I'm getting the text. And so if I want to do the uploading videos section, get to that index, I click right now, and it takes me to that point. And so I think it's really handy because it's just going to give your viewers an easier opportunity to go through the video scrubbing style and to find the content that they want. For a lot of the training videos that I do for faculty and staff, people want to be able to jump to a specific point in a video. And this makes it so much easier than having to go to the bottom, to the comments or the description. This way you can fully interact with the video in real time and scrub through it and find the place that you want to be at. Now, one thing to note is uh, I read today that YouTube plans to roll this out on mobile devices. So supposedly what'll happen is when you go to your phone and you choose a YouTube video, there'll be a haptic indication. So as you're going to a new chapter index, because the screen is so much smaller and it'd be really hard to scroll and do what we're doing on our desktop, you'll feel a little feedback from your screen, that haptic touch um, feedback that is, is common to a lot of apps. I tried it today, it didn't work. I'm recording this in late July of 2020, so maybe they're still getting that out. And uh, just refer to the uh, web and information about mobile devices and YouTube index features. A couple of other things to point out just in terms of rules or things to remember if you're doing this. Uh, one is the very first index that you set up has to be 0 colon 0 0 so it has to be right at the beginning of the video so that's the default must have that first bit of index whatever it is to be 0 0 0 the other thing is you have to have a minimum of three time indices throughout your video maximum I think is as many as you want so certainly my video here on YouTube the basics has probably over 20 30 it looks more like 50 of these so just be sure to have at least three. And then any given section in which you attach an index to has to be a minimum of 10 seconds. So just make sure it's 10 or more seconds and you should be fine. So let's look real quick how to set this up in your video. It is as easy an operation in YouTube as is imaginable. So what I'm going to do is find a new video that I haven't indexed yet and I'll pick my video on location video. And the nice thing in my case is because I've been doing these in the comment section, I can just go into the comment section of where I already have this, cut and paste that, and I'll do that right now. So we'll cut and paste my comments from 
the video and actually I did change this because in the past I didn't always start it with zero 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 so this is a new thing and I think it allows YouTube then to go in and pull that metadata out of your uh, description so we're going to take that and again this is just set up and you can see you should do a hard return at the end of every one so just do introduction zero 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 the next one is other videos in the series 403 and so forth and that's all I need to do you can name things and create indices as you like so I will just cut and paste that from Word and then I will go into my video description and I'll just do a few hard returns I'll hit paste and then I'm going to hit save and you'll see immediately this happens so when I go to my video just hit pause there before I play it you could see this is my old version so this was in the comment section so I could actually delete that if I wanted because it's cluttering up the video itself and that'll leave more room for my um, viewers out there to leave comments and then if I click on this it will of course retain what I put in with the timestamps here in the description so viewers like they couldn't pass could click on this and it would take them to that same spot in the video but again as we're looking at today what's nice about the new scrubbing feature is because YouTube attached these as a viewer all I have to do is hover my mouse over each of these if I want to learn about camera I click on that one and it looks like to get to the beginning of that you would just Hold. I'm trying to see here. Let's see. I think that should take me right to the beginning of it. So you have to just kind of scroll until until that title doesn't advance to the previous index. And yeah, it's just really easy to use. So it will make the experience of your viewers, I think, a lot more meaningful because they don't have to try to guess and find things in the video. And the other thing is, I think that's important to remember as a, a good practice for your viewers is as a YouTube creator out there it's a really good idea if you have a long video to definitely do an index if you have a short one that just covers one topic like this one my personal opinion is you wouldn't need that because it wouldn't make sense to put it into chapter indices it's kind of like a book so when you go to the next chapter it's a little bit of organization for your reader this is very similar so my recommendation is if you have a super long video that has you know 10 15 20 30 different topics take a few minutes to go through your video and to put in the time indices what I like to do is when I'm doing my final edit in Final Cut Pro of a video I'll go through have a word document open and anytime I get to a new topic I'll type the uh, short description of that and then I'll put the time index from Final Cut Pro because as long as I don't do any changes to that video once I render it into compressor upload it to YouTube all those are going to be super accurate in terms of my timestamps so it's one recommendation I would offer to you if you're thinking about doing this and maybe saving a little bit of time do it with your last edit and final cut or video software that you're using save that as a word doc when your video is uploaded to YouTube and you're happy with it go ahead and simply go into your description and go through the steps that I recommended so good luck to all the YouTube creators out there continue to make great videos and now with the new chapter index uh, feature in YouTube I think it'll be a lot easier for your viewers to interact with your channel so good luck and I'll be back with future videos here on my YouTube channel